My name is Pastor Bill Taylor at Virgie Christian Church in Virgie, Indiana. We are celebrating our 104th anniversary of the church. Uh, that will be Sunday, September 15th. We are doing one service at 930 and we are renting a big old tent and we're going to kind of do a tent revival with a big old potluck after. Our, our normal service times are 830 and 1015. I would say we have been blessed with some of the greatest uh, people. We have a Sunday school wing that's kind of where you enter the church, and and many refer to it as the gauntlet because there's just a lot of handshake and hugging, back patting. Everybody just loves people here. We're a, a very accepting church of just who you are and bringing you into Jesus and getting you to know his word. I think being traditional is still is very different from today's culture. We don't do any contemporary service per se. You know, we have communion every week. We sing the hymns. And again, for me, it's just the people. When I came here seven-ish years ago, the one thing that just drew my attention to actually pull me away from my previous career to go into ministry was the people. They're just, they're just good people. Well, we are a little church in the middle of nowhere, and we just try to worship. We try to live our life to a, as a testament to Jesus. We try to love one another, regardless of where you're at in life. Uh, we've all been through struggles and trials and tribulation, and uh, this is a hospital for sinners. And there's not one, including myself, that walks in that isn't being tested some way every day. And so we just try to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and love as Jesus did in spite of ourselves, I guess you could say. And we just really try to exude the passion that Jesus had, uh, his mission to bring uh, others to know his Father God, our Father, and just, again, to love, not that we love sin, we're all about trying to change, and that's the calling of repentance is once we repent, we should seek to be more like Jesus in everything we do and give up those things of the past that made us struggle and uh, just seek the Holy Spirit's counsel in the things that we do and uh, lead others to Him. Well, we always do a Good Friday service, have a big sunrise service for Easter. We do a VBS, which was uh, really great this year. We were up about 15 kids. So for us, that's a lot because kids can't ride their bike here. Uh, we have very few kids just right in the eight to 10 houses that are around us. And then generally twice a year, we have a big fish fry. But last year, it was so successful that we exceeded the ability of our building. So we're looking into other options. It was just a magnificent. We raised a lot of money. GNPI is one of our missions that we support. Good News Production International. We raised over $5,000 for GNPI. It was awesome. Unfortunately, this fall, we usually have our fish fries. The I was told Mo 3S when I came here, March and October, third Saturday. So this uh, October, we are actually not going to do our fish fry because we're trying to rework it and maybe move the dates a little bit so we could do something more outside. We always do... Uh, candlelight service Christmas Eve. Other than that, we just have various things throughout the year that, you know, uh, somebody may stand up in the at the end of a service and say, let's do a, a weenie roast today. We did rent the pool in DeMont twice this year, just and got a lot of kids from the community in and just swam and enjoy the weather. And uh, a lot of us older people just kind of sat on the side and watched the kids dive in. And Right now, one of the things that we, we always have a Wednesday night Bible study. We just started the book of Galatians. We just finished Romans. Before that, we did Revelation, big study. We are hoping to get some small groups started this fall. That's always been kind of difficult for us just trying to, you know, living in the country. We have one at our house that unfortunately, it seems like in the middle of wintertime, half the time we have to cancel because the roads could be crummy. And so that's something we have to navigate around. I know one of our elders is looking at, uh, I think the end of September, he's going to do a chili cook-off in November, something we've started about six years ago, is we try to get donations from everybody in the church. And then we get local names from the school and from the Veterans Association and stuff. And we make up turkey baskets. And then that Sunday before Thanksgiving, uh, a lot of people will say, hey, I'd love to deliver one. And we just kind of pack them that Saturday before. And then um, honestly, they get we always get laundry baskets because it just seems to work out well. And we just 
fill them full of food. They get turkey and they get all the fixins, gallons of milk, butter. I mean, anything you could want. And then hopefully they have enough to kind of help them do some other things throughout the week or whatnot. So that's one of the big things we do. We are, we're very involved with Operation Christmas Child through the Billy Graham Association. So last year, I think we did a hundred, um, I don't want to misspeak and I'm horrible with uh, numbers, but I wanted to say we did about 120 boxes last year. So for us, that that was our biggest year so far, uh, shoe boxes for the kids. So this year I'm, I'm throwing down the gauntlet. We're going for like 150. Got a challenge, right? Well, I've been listening to Shine for what seemingly forever now. Uh, actually, I used to live in Kankakee, so uh, I was over that area quite often. I think Shine's ministry is um, integral to to the commitment and to the furthering of the kingdom of Jesus. Today's music, it's been around like this for a long time. I, I catch myself often seeing I'm an 80s kid. Uh, I grew up and graduated in the 80s. And any 80s song in the world can come on. And, you know, as a kid, I remember many would say, do you know what that those words mean? And I'm like, no, I just, I just love the song. And now I listen to it that I'm a parent and go, holy shamoli, I can't believe I just sang that. So we need... We need music, and I, I thank God for all of our Christian artists that just are praising God and lifting up God and even meeting us in our struggle. I'm not a singer. Um, I can make people's ears bleed. It's horrible. Um, but just having someone that can, music is powerful, and it hits the soul. And when somebody's really struggling, being pulled down by the weight of, of the world or the weight of sin, and to hear somebody singing praises and just giving God glory, and by you guys uh, projecting that to all all the communities. And I know you guys are growing, which is awesome. You're reaching so many people to just give them hope and give them courage to stand up for that day that's ahead that um, they know is going to be a challenge. And they can pop on shine.fm and just be encouraged and strengthened for their day. And through that, they may not even realize it because you know, depending on where they're at in their walk, they're actually worshiping and praising in the process. And to me, that's that's a crazy, awesome ministry.